positions really stands out. No question about it. Both teams rely heavily on their backcourts to get it done. And I'm interested to see which backcourt brings it tonight. And now the Lakers starting group at the guard positions. Russell and Reeves. Down in the block, it's LeBron and Davis. And it's Hachimura in at the three slot. Here's Davis, good on the bucket. That's why people want to play with LeBron. He's always creating good looks for his teammates. Smitty will remember this date, February 8, 2023. A very special night. LeBron passing Kareem Abdul-Jabbar in the all-time scoring list. Kevin, that record is a testament to LeBron's will. He takes incredible care of his body. At 20 years in, LeBron James still playing at a high level. Nice pass from AD, wanting to set up his open teammates. The pass to Butler. And Davis sends it back, and he gets it back. Rozier for three. Hachimura grabs the miss. And so it's Hachimura who brings up the ball for Los Angeles. Last game matched up with the Magic. A tough loss there. Hey, they, they had their opportunities, but let's face it, they choked from the line. Hard to win that way on the road. And you could see them losing confidence, and it turned into a domino effect. Down low, here's Autobio. Great D that time from Davis. He is so good attacking the rim. It's rare to see him denied like that. Here's James. Rebound by the Heat. They defeated the Wizards in their last game. Tremendous poise on the offensive end. Overall, they did not settle for bad shots. They were very patient, and that was the difference. It's hard to be patient, I know. But look at the outcome they had. And here's James outside. It's hauled in by Hero. Inside, here's Autobio. That's good, and it's Rogier with the assist. Bam is a pro at absorbing contact, especially when he's locked in on scoring. At the end of one, a closely contested game so far. It's the Heat. They lose. And it's been a pretty even game here after one quarter of play. And let's quickly break down the game we've seen from Miami, guys. Well, one way to generate more offense, pound the offensive glass. That was the difference in the first. And you know this, most of the time, offensive rebounds generate high percentage looks. So with Butler sitting on the bench, this is who Eric Spolstra has on the floor. Hero out there with Duncan Robinson. Then there's Kevin Love, and it's Jovic in at the power forward. GA, the three-point shooting for Miami has been the story. Sometimes they run cold, like a lot of teams. Man, when they're hot, they are fun to watch. A couple years back, Kevin, they led the lead in percentage from long distance. Last season, one of the worst in that category until the playoffs, where they rediscovered that shooting touch. And it's the Heat with the ball after LeBron James hitting the three. Pass to Hero. Knocks down the three ball. Hero's got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. This is how Tyler Hero likes to roll. You got me, I'll get you back. The wide open look here for Wood. Trying to come right back with the three of his own. It's no good. Here's Jovic, covered by LeBron, and the shot goes down. Jovic has got the lead up to three now for Miami. That's a good look by Kevin Love. The decision-making with the ball in his hands makes him different than other fours. No one near James as he lets it go. Gets the three-pointer to fall. James has got a pair of triples in the second now for Los Angeles. Lee Baz was put in just the right spot. Jovic has got four points now in the quarter. Continues to develop as a playmaker. It's nice to see Tyler Hero create for others. Prince outside. Some nice passing here by Los Angeles. Yes, it's James picking up the assist. This is from LeBron James. Love deciding where to go with it. Jovic passes to Love. Yes, that goes in. Love's got his first bucket of the night. 
pinpoint accuracy near the rim, something Kevin Love has had for a very long time. With one on the clock, and he was able to put it up in time, but doesn't fall. So that'll be it for the first half. Fairly even battle underway in this one. Heat lead by two. Thank you, David, for that interview, and we'll see you back here after the break for third quarter basketball. The Thunder will be playing at Paycom Center as they go up against the Hawks. 8 p.m. Eastern, that one gets started. Two of the best. Circling back to our featured game, the Miami Heat find themselves in a pretty even matchup. Man, their fans are loving this one. As a player. Thank you for being with us. Now let's send it to Kevin Harlan for the. And after a fairly even first couple of quarters, the second half could turn out to be a quick one as both teams try to gain an edge. You look at James, what a contribution. Well, we'll find out if they were able to find an, an answer for him over the break. He was scoring with ease in that first half. I think both sides probably adjusted a few things. The key for him is to bring the same level of energy over these last two quarters. Taking a look at the Lakers. Down in the block, it's LeBron and Davis. At the guard positions, Russell and Reeves, and it's Hachimura in at the small forward. We always see Terry Rozier going all out, don't we, Greg, to make an impact offensively. Kevin, I just love the way his offensive repertoire has evolved over the years. This guy came in as just a hard-nosed, tough defender, but boy, offensively, his skill set and development on that end is off the charts. Here's LeBron. It's hauled in by Hero. Missing that one helps out all the analytical guys from the mid-range. Shots good by Butler. Three for three, and that's always a good way to start the second half. And with a little over a minute gone, the second half is underway. This is it to Hachimura. To the paint. James Jack hammers it down. How about that one from LeBron James? That was nice. Outside hero. Back to Rogier. Over to the left wing. Here's Adebayo. That one wide left. And not allowing the shooter even an inch of breathing room on that one. And you know, we always talk about this. Just changing the shot can be just as effective as blocking it, even though it's less spectacular. Shot clock and game clock separated by less than six seconds. The shot by Adebayo, no good. Lakers trail by three. Left block shot on the way. Reeves can't hit. And a wide open look for Hero. That's good, and it's Rozier with the assist. Rozier's got six assists now in the game. Outside, Russell shoots the three. Drills it from outside. Russell's got his third basket of the night right there. Matching baskets from the perimeter and earmark of today's game. Hey, players love competition, and the fans love it as well. It's still anybody's game as we've reached the end of three. And a quick look now at the State Farm assist of the game. And definitely deserving of the prize tonight. How about the read he made here? Looking like a point guard with the pass right on the money. Yeah, it's one thing to find the guy. It's another to deliver the ball where he can do something with it. Wonderful play. And with these teams locked in a very close contest, this fourth quarter promises to be a good one. The forward spots will be Butler and Martin. Tyler Hero out there with Terry Rozier. And it's Autobio in at the center. That's the group on the floor for Miami. Got that one up quick. Butler's got the lead up to eight now for the Heat. Excellent touch from deep. Jimmy Butler looking more comfortable from this area. Here's LeBron. LeBron going to work inside. And boy, he's really in a groove. Dominant performance last game. Same thing this time out. Here's the thing. He's a guy who will go on hot streaks for you over a number of games. And some stats here, guys. The scoring breakdown for the Heat. 
It's just a passing clinic from them in this game. Solid communication and unselfish play all around. And another thing, they continue to work it inside and score. It's clear their game plan is attacking the paint as much as possible. A moment now to hear from our sideline reporter, Hall of Famer, David Ode. David. Hey, guys. Listen in on what Garvin Ham was talking about with his players. They were asking the team to play faster, push the ball. Coach told their players, hey, look, in this league, fast break points are the easiest. We need more of them. I can't argue with that. Kevin? Okay, David, thanks. Rare you'll see him miss such an open look. Here's Rozier. An easy two points on the layup. And the Heat lead by 11. And at this point, just sort of running through the paces as it appears it'll be a nice win here for the Heat. They really lit it up in this fantastic offensive performance. Definitely just simply shot the ball well. One of those games to be proud of. And during the long NBA season, each contest important here tonight. Tonight's win will give them four on the season. And so they win their first game against this squad. It's a two-game season series, and they'll be going for the sweep the next time they face off. And one of the key components to this victory, if not the biggest, was the incredible performance for Butler. I thought he did a good job of filling out the defense early on. Then once he found his groove, he stayed aggressive throughout. Three-pointer, Butler. The rebound by James. And here's James. He'll bring it up for Los Angeles. Trailing by 10. And the layup's good off the glass. LeBron is showing he can still dial it up whenever he wants. Put the ball in his hands and let him go to work. Ogier for three. Good on the three-point shot. An impressive job by the players, coaches, and don't discount the impact of these fans. They gave the team tremendous energy tonight. The fans were fantastic. It was a true home court advantage. Here's Martin. No good that time. And so Miami takes this one by a big margin. Some good competition, but the hometown advantage and their ability to stay focused, I think, made the difference. Yeah, and the first step in becoming a good team is your ability to win at home. And they really seem to revel in that. Much appreciated, David. 